Hi, on this show, I'm Nick. And as always, I am Avery. And this time I'll say it. Welcome back to NA Play. Uh, today we are playing The Deed. Um, it is not as sexual as you think it is, although we are doing our best to make it that way. Um, and Nick is currently playing Aaron, spelled A-R-R-A-N, which we learned from our dear friend, which uh, says that it is Scottish. So we are apparently in some sort of Scotland. Um, Nick is doing his best to be an asshole and also try to hit on every single woman that he sees. He's doing, I'd say, a solid B, uh, especially because he stole his sister's panties, and now we're trying to look for a weapon to murder people with. Er, of a sister, trying to murder our sister. What'd I say? People. Oh, yeah, no, no, it's, it's specifically his sister. Yeah, but, so we... you know, there might, there might be side casualties. I'm just, you know, playing the field here. And we're going to decide to leave the candlestick for now, because I want to see what else is out there, so. Right now, the two ones that we're going between are a fencing sword and oh oh I we're gonna have a flashback i, I didn't realize uh, that was a door i didn't either i was very confused um a fencing sword and then a uh twat, a toss twat? Twat? toss a toss which is like a leather stick yeah and so, other th is that it yeah yeah i think i think we're caught up okay none of these books interest you rude you decide that now is not the time for lounging around. There is work to be done. Unless it's a flashback. An assortment of family records and heirlooms are contained within the ornate glass cabinet. What's this? Oh, oh. are we flashing back? There it is. Oh yeah, FYI, we have flashbacks sometimes. I, do. I don't know. Of course you do. Use that head for once, boy. Great Uncle Thomas. Ah, uh, what initials do you see on that silver wire? CB. And what kind of halfwit smells Thomas with a C? I don't know. Well, I do. It's the kind of halfwit that's standing next to me. Now, which of your ancestors own the silver chalice? If you get this one wrong, there will be serious consequences, boy. Um. Were consequences had? I need to know. I'll say... I'll say one thing about my father. His style of parenting has always been consistent. Always good. You manage to force open the log drawer of your... Of the writing desk. Inside you find pages of poetry penned in your sister's handwriting. Ooh. They seem to be the love letters Ooh. penned to an unidentified Ooh. female. Ooh, she's gay. From the descriptions, Ooh. you would guess that it, it's the new maid interesting um we can only take two things i don't really care about her love poems okay okay the panties are way more interesting anyway yeah that was like definitely my first and only choice of things that i'm dead set on having right all now right. um like and comment if you think panties are the best okay your sister's panties are the <laughs> best <laughs> oh my gosh Walk, walking into the pantry, you begin to salivate at the promised ascent of roast beef coming in the kitchen beyond. Oh, that's not going to be the only thing coming in the kitchen. You find nothing of interest in the drawers. On the top of the cabinet, however, you see a blue box marked rat poison. Ooh, that could be interesting considering she killed your rat. Although that might draw back attention to you. She killed her... But why would she... But it's like... I don't know... <laughs> We got to think about how... I know that. I know that. But we got to think about how the panties and the weapon go together. So which weapon goes with the panties? What, why do we have the panties? I don't know. That's for that's like to drop evidence or something like that. I know, but like, what evidence? The, the evidence. The, that she was wearing panties? <laughs> Your yeah, honor, she... she was wearing panties. Case dismissed. Yeah. Case dismissed. Case closed. She was wearing panties. <laughs> there is nothing about this barrel. Okay. Uh, is the the? Uh, okay. I. You have no reason to interfere with the saucepans and cotton crockery. I, I was gonna say cockery. 
again, we are in the uh, kitchen with the maid that you were trying to hit on earlier, so... Uh, you don't think you will be needing any bread. I, I would kill her with the bread if I could, honestly. There's nothing really especially noticeable about the fireplace. So, wait, did you... There's nothing oh, are notable we killing her about with the bread? bread? We can't. I want to, though. I know, me too. This is you. Uh... What voice did I give her? Please don't touch that. Can I touch you? Oh, hello, Mr. Aaron. This is something I can do for you. Yes, there's something you can do for me. You can pucker up those pretty lips and of yours and give me a kiss. They're so gentlemanly. Mr. Aaron, please, that's highly inappropriate. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think it's up to you, your employer, to determine what's inappropriate behavior. And Sexual this is harassment. And, uh, it's okay, it was in the past. It would t it would be a shame if this employment was to terminate suddenly. Art, are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, very well then, Mr. Barrett. Go and speak with your father if you wish. I can only swear to tell you the truth when I when he's asked. What did she <laughs> did she fuck her father? I don't know, but I swallowed my spit. Oh. It was not the right hole. We've uh, all been there, am I right? Uh, Heck yeah. Sorry, let's get back to work now. Oh, I'll ring the bell and it's ready. Okay, uh, there's something else in here. There's gotta be. You didn't have a flashback in this room. Wait, is there a knife? Uh, oh. It seems like the maid has lost a sharp knife unattended. How foolish of her. Uh, that's a maybe for me. I mean, I think we've looked at everything that we can look at. Uh, 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 guys, we have two people watching, so of all the things that, of all the murder weapons that we've come across so far, which one do you guys want to take? Vote now. You didn't, in, you didn't go in the bottom two. Yeah, I did. Where? No, no, in the, on the left. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Okay. Don't, don't, don't vote just yet. Don't vote just yet. Maybe vote just yet. Or if you want to vote, vote. This is the groundskeeper's cupboard. George seems to have left it open. Long various household tools, you spot a thick length of rope. Strangulation is certainly a tried and tested method of murder. Okay, so we got some rope. This is a big ass house. Uh, this dusty old wine cellar is where your father likes to practice billiards. The laundry room is next door, and beyond that, the servants' quarters. Oh, this is gonna get real saucy. Uh, Can we kill her with the pool pool sticks? A billiards cube belonging to your father lies across the table. This could certainly serve as an unorthodox murder weapon. And we can blame it on the father. Hell yeah, we could. I'm all about taking down daddy along with it. He seems like a dick. Your father always keeps an impressive amount of wine it's stocked in the house. Oh my gosh. So I had my I had my uh, family over, my siblings over for Christmas. And also my sister's husband's family came with. Some of his family came with. And they they told me that they're like, you are your mom, essentially, because I had all assortments of alcohol that I thought somebody would drink. Um, just like by like knowing these people for a very short amount of time. So it was like my brother's gin and tonic. My sister, I bought stuff for mimosas and also red wine. And then I also got mimosa stuff for her mother-in-law. And then I got beer, like craft beer for her husband and uh, father-in-law and then I got like a bottle of dry Riesling because that's what my grandma drinks so I assumed that's what all dr grandmas drink so I'm just saying I have a lot of booze in my house right now well invite me over yeah just, it, I'm only like seven states away it's totally fine uh, yeah I'm probably more than that I don't know no greater grief than to remember days of joy when misery is at hand so oh, how poetic the antique map of Kansas City was a gift to your father from his one of his distant cousins. Why Kansas? Kansas is just there. An offshoot of the Bruce family set sail for the Americas almost a hundred years ago and remain there to this day. Alright, what interesting weapons can we find in here? A plant! A bong. Or a bong, but that's definitely not a bong. You find nothing of interest among the maid's supplies. 
There's nothing in here but wet laundry. Well, we There's got nothing in here but we'll make wet. Yeah. Oh, they're already wet. Two pairs of shoes, freshly polished. Can we do anything with the broom? The maid has left a wooden broom leaning against the wall, broken in two. It might be a useful weapon. Ooh. Blame it on the maid because she didn't want to fuck us. Uh, uh, let us know, guys. Who do you want us to screw over, the maid or the father? You find nothing of interest among the maid's supplies. Who the hell is this? Oh, who's, who are you, good sir? Oh, it's that guy. Oi, it's, it's you, sir. You seem to be annoyed about something. Well, you're kind of a dick. I don't like the way you spoke to Sophie, uh, just now. Frankly, I'm quite shocked and disgusted, sir. Uh, you just want her. Come on, what's really going on here? Have you been sniffing around by her yourself, you old dog? How dare you, Sophia and I are colleagues, and I would never be as presumptuous as you clearly are. I knew it, you have the hearts for her, don't you? I refuse to dignify that as a response. There is nothing worse than getting, like, accused of having, like, a crush on somebody. Yeah. This conversation is over. You aren't in the habit of sleeping in the servants' quarters. This is certainly yeah. not a time for sitting around. You can't go rummaging through George George's drawers while he is watching you, but you can go through everyone else's stuff while they're watching you. That, that, that doesn't seem to be a problem. <laughs> George is the only one who pays attention. Yeah. We appreciate you for this, George. Oh, there's a broken mirror. There is nothing in these drawers but clothing belonging to the maid. The broken mirror could be interesting. The maid's bed is immaculately well made. Maybe we can masturbate in her bed. Just on her pillows. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, we could, but like, oh my gosh. This is certainly not the time for sitting around. A broken mirror sits upon the maid's desk. Odds are that it belongs to your sister, and the maid has been hiding it here after accidentally breaking it. A shard of glass from the mirror would be a poetic oh. murder weapon. It would be poetic. Would. Kill her with her own mirror. That would be that would be framing the maid like hardcore. I don't know. I like that one. I like it too. I'm down to do it. Do we have anything left to see still? We have one more room, I think. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Up, up top, there was one more room to the left. Uh. I think this is where our mother is. Oh yeah, we have a mom. I see you made it, Aaron. Please forgive me if I don't stand. Your mere presence has almost given me a heart attack. I, I thought she was watching TV for a second, but that's definitely not a TV. Look at this. Anyway. Well, I mean, I mean, you got uh, a TV and a, a radio mixed up in our other stream of A Way Out. A Way? Did I? Yeah. I don't remember that. Hello, Mother! Please sit down if you want to talk properly, Aaron. I don't want to crank my neck with nothing, you. You glance over your shoulder to make your, sure your mother isn't looking. The red book on the desk says diary on the front, take your mother's diary. I don't know. Oh, could we frame your mom? Yeah, I don't feel like we should frame your mom right now. She seems okay. So, Aaron, you finally managed to make it up here for a visit. Please tell me, aren't you going... Or, wait, please tell me you are just here to cause trouble. I'm not about to pretend that we've been ha a normal family. We have never been. If you want to know why I'm such a troublemaker, you need only to look in the mirror. You might you may looking into it. You made me this way. I, I should uh, not be surprised. You have been blaming others all your life for your failings. Just please try not to cause a scene while you're here. Today it's all about your father. Have you been up to see your sister yet? She's has been having an unusually difficult time recently. Uh... Christ, what's wrong with her now? Oh, and what disease has she invented for herself now? 
She only does it for attention, you know? You shouldn't let her deceive her, you. You're such a dick! Excuse me, if I choose to trust the doctors over your own expertise, Aaron. You could at least pretend as though you cared about him. Anyways, you should go and talk to your father if you haven't already. Wish him a happy birthday. Yeah, we had the chance to do that. We declined. He's a dick. You're both dicks. Well, he ra well the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> oh, at least try to sound like you mean it. Dude, this radio is very strange. This is obviously a... You don't need to make any phone calls right now. There's nothing especially notable syllable about the fireplace. I think that's everything. Uh, yeah. Alright, we have no votes on uh, the the murder weapon, so... Um, My vote? Okay, well, I'm going to start the voting. I vote for the mirror, the broken shard of the mirror in the maid's room. Yeah, I'm going to second that one. Alright, well, that's two out of three, so... I guess that's what we're doing. I like how the, the two people in the chat only count as one person. Well, no, there's two including you. Oh, so there's only one other person? I think there's only one other person. Oh, well. Alright, let's take that shard o mirror. Let's take that shard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh! Ah, uh, crap. I have another really, really gross thing to talk about about masturbation. Uh... Okay. If you want to talk about it, talk I, about I it. I don't... <sighs> you take the sharpest okay. piece of broken glass and hide it in your person for later. Well, there's dinner. Again, again, a bell invites me. Time for dinner, it seems. Dinner is... Dinner is served! Okay. Tophia, could you come here a moment? Yes, ma'am. Pour me some more wine. I want some more wine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> but my dad. <laughs> oh, what is it, George? Time to murder! I must protest, it has always been my duty to pour the wine at dinner. Oh, well, I don't want to cause any trouble. Nonsense. What does it matter, George? Stop being a overly pedantic. 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 But, but I... He just wants to look down your dress. <laughs> I'm I'm afraid George just enjoys the view while you're pouring the wine, mother. What? I never. Hi, puppy. I've noticed. I've noticed him staring at your breasts on many occasions, and when he does it, Jennifer's too. Tatas. That's a lie. Yeah. That's stories. I have too many lines talking to myself. Thank I don't- you. I don't know where Georgie- where you get the nerve, boy. Don't worry, George, I don't believe this for a moment. Thank you, sir. Who's that? Oh, is that, oh that's their sister. I think it's you. I think you're the sister? Or am I the oh, sister? Oh yeah, I'm the sister. An interfering little rat, isn't he daddy? Yeah, daddy. Mm. <laughs> that's why you have my panties. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Why can't you ever keep your mouth shut, boy? Uh... Oh, I want fisticuffs thrown, please. Or perhaps you should shut your mouth for a change, Father, before I come over there and do it for you. Go ahead. It said Aaron. Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. Threaten your own father, would you? Yeah. You hold your you hold that tongue, boy. Not another word. Sophia, could you come here, please? I'm gonna touch your boobs. Yes, Miss Jennifer? 
I just wanted to say that you that was the loveliest meal I've ever tasted. I don't know how you do it, you cunning pixie. You're too kind, miss. Of course I'll have some tea and cakes for you in the drawing room. As usual after dinner drawing room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are good to me, you sweet thing. So very good to me. I wouldn't mind some hotcakes from the hotcakes. Uh, uh, Sophia isn't interested in your advancement, sister. Ooh. Or would you... Okay. Leave the girl alone, would you, sister? She obviously isn't interested in your advances. They did find out they have a crush. Oh, she has a crush on her. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. They're secret lovers for sure. Secret lovers! Secret lovers! This is, oh, this is me. Shut up! Shut up, rat! You ruin everything! Perrin, don't accuse your sister of such things. That's quite enough. Anyways, let's not forget why we're here today. Because you two are getting married. Oh yeah, surprise! Celebrate your father's birthday. Such an important occasion for all of us. You're so sweet. You're so wait. You are so dear to us, Malcolm. Is Malcolm and the dad? No. Happy birthday, daddy. Mm. Indeed, happy birthday, father. Let's hope <laughs> it. <laughs> what? Have you ever had somebody call you daddy in bed? Yeah. For real? Is that like a thing for you? No, that was my ex's thing for... Oh, she just like... Oh, that's right! Did I tell you that already? Uh, you had mentioned that she was into some interessante things. Yeah, well... Let's hope it will be one to remember! <laughs> like calling you daddy. Doing the deed. We... Yeah, we got the panties ready. Now it is time to quickly plan any items of evidence you have. To do so, simply enter the desired room and select the item in your inventory. Uh, maid's room, for sure. When you are ready, enter the drawing room to do the deed. The draw Which one is the drawing room? I don't know. I'm sure it'll tell us. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Um, okay. So we need to put the panties in the okay. maid's room, correct? Yeah. George seems to be busy sorting through items in the household cupboard. Dude, Panzer's... Panzer's under my desk right now and just like... No, 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 not, not yet. Well, look at those panties, by the way. Aren't they hot? Oh my gosh, they look like straight up uh, pantaloons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go to the maid's room, for goodness sakes. All right. Plant them. How do I plant them? I don't know. Go to items. Okay, I want to put them on there on her bed. I don't know if it specifically lets you do that, but go to your items. How do I do that again? I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I no, I just did Is it. it. I? No, no. Is it G? Is it G? Undergarments. Yeah, I'm particularly relished the thought of carrying these around in your pocket, but needs must. Do you want to place this item as evidence in this room? Yes. So we're blaming the maid, because she wouldn't mm -hmm. fuck us. Mm -hmm. You decide to conceal this item underneath your maid's pillow. This ought to be incriminate incriminating. Alright. We're either genius at murder or terrible at it. Okay. Which one is it, Nick? We are. Alright, now you gotta. Oops, what am I doing? Now you need to go to the drawing room? Yeah. All right, because right. you. Or do you need to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's the drawing room. There's your sister. There's no yeah. turning back! Ain't no stopping us now! You see Jennifer staring out the window ahead of you, lost in one of her strange moods. She hasn't noticed you entering the drawing room. Now is the time. Murder! Murder! Choose the murder weapon. Oh, we can use our bare hands. No, no, no. We'll use the broken glass. I want to make this dramatic. 
Your sister cries out in surprise as you grab her from behind, and you quickly muffle those cries with one of your hands before pressing the shard of broken glass against her throat. She struggles valiantly as you cut her throat open, but you manage to hold her in place until she finally goes limp. You drop her lifeless body to the ground, along with the broken glass. It's time to leave this room before your deed is discovered. Yeah! Run! Run, 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 run! Leave the house! You can't oh. leave now, there's work to be done. I guess... Go dick around, I don't know. That sounds like my deed has been discovered. Oh, I'm just playing with the dog. Just here, chilling with the dog. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh, the dog came too. Who's this? Uh good I don't know I don't have a voice around. I'll just use my voice. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chief Inspector Winston Lewis. Listen, your voice sounds way too peppy for this guy. I understand I understand <laughs> that this is a difficult time for family. You're damn right it is. I wanna know what you're doing wasting my time in here while my daughter's killer is still out there. Well, Mr. Bruce, we have no evidence of forced entry, and nobody was entering or leaving the house. It seems entirely possible that the killer is in this room. Did you say what? Yeah. Okay. Did I, am I not saying it loud enough? I don't know if it's cutting out or what, but... No! That seems highly unlikely, Inspector. Perhaps, but however, in order to follow protocol, I have to interview each of you one in turn. Each one of you in turn, Mrs. Bruce, would you like to meet me in the library first? Yes. The interview. Thank you for joining me in here, Mr. Bruce. I'm sure this won't take long. Before we begin, I need to search your person best for to get the formalities out of the way. I need to touch your dick. <laughs> is, is, it, is this really necessary? I'm afraid sure the boys are in there right there. I'm afraid so. Turn around, please. Hmm. Now with that out of the way, let's move on with the interview. As you know, I've already spoken to everyone else who was present in the house at the time of your sister's death. We have now completed our initial search of the house, but we'll get that to we'll get to that later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First, all will we'll run through all of your activities since your arrival. The maid says that you and the butler arrived shortly after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. Sophia told me that you seemed quite abrasive at, at times during your conversation with her. Uh, Midge. More like flirty, but... I found her yeah. behavior irritating. I suspect high standards of the servants in this house and she was failing to meet them. Of course I lost my temper. I see. Did you do you often lose your temper? That is a leading que that is a leading question. Yes, yes it was. Let's move on, shall we? The maid said oh, that you oh. made several lewd comments and advances towards her during your conversation. Man, maybe we shouldn't have been such a tank because we were guilty as shit. <laughs> um... We look like a scumbag big time. I was a dick to every single person in this house. And it's gonna like yeah, you go through <laughs> Like my mom, my dad, my sister, the maids, and even the even the man maid, man maid, oh, the man maid, <laughs> the man. Has it been thirty minutes yet? Are you feeling uncomfortable? Because I want to. I want to pee and smoke a cigarette. Okay, we could end it early. Is it okay? It's, it's like one minute left. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or don't. We don't give a shit. We'll see you all in the next one. And uh, goodbye, everyone. Bye. Oops. Love you.